think the most important data that we use from Catapult is about replicating international competition. We actually try and get our girls in training in the most physical shape that they would match in an international competition and, and that for someone is quite hard to replicate unless you've got the data from Catapult to actually back that sort of training session up. And I think what's been really challenging and really exciting for the Roses is how we are developing um, a catalogue of practices and sessions that we actually know marry what the girls do actually at international level and that is so important to be able to push through our pathway um, and get our girl, girls ready for international competition. Well generally with netball it's, uh, it's full of high intensity movement so that's a key marker we look at. They spend the, their time changing direction and jumping up in the air so we're, we're kind of looking at how many sort of movements they make in a game and how much sort of physical expense that takes off a player because it can be quite draining. So the bonus with Capital it's great you can really break it down into different positions because obviously there's a lot of different positional requirements so we're kind of looking at the whole picture really. Sports science has developed massively since I started. I started playing for England in 2002 and we didn't have anything like this. Our goal has always been the same in netball to be the best in the world and now we've got this tracking data and Catapult is helping us see what we need to do to be best in the world, what we're doing when we're playing well against Australia, New Zealand, Jamaica and just being able to recreate it in training. Each session we wear the GPS devices in every international match. So we use that, that information and that data to them bring into our training sessions. So our sports science team work really well um, and provide data for us to make sure that all our sessions are at the intensity that we need to work at in the international matches. So I think for young girls that are coming through the system, it's really important that they can have an insight of what it takes to play against um, the top nations and what you need to do in them games. In respect to other information we try and take from Catapult, um, we actually look up work rate of players um, against particular nations and is there a significance in the way players work? Do they need to work harder in particular positions um, against obviously the ranked one to six in the world and th there's been some interesting findings of that. Do we want our goalkeeper working um, in the green or do we want uh, in the red and I think that's really interesting because you know if you play you know particularly countries that have um, quite tall shooters you probably want a lot of the work done out the front so you probably want them players working at a really high rate and, and I think catapult data has been really good in informing us about you know the type of players and the type of work rate that we need them players to actually do um, to put out a match winning performance.